Okay. So, we finished the- okay, I don't know why I'm saying we, like this is a group effort here. <laughs> uh, so I finished, uh, the Fairy Academy, and I immediately went to Snow Island to start the next dungeon. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this because I was- at first I was thinking, oh, maybe I should just- try to do like one theme dungeon per um uh per like level arc i don't know how to call it um but that i don't know i might as well i already accepted this quest i might as well just do like two dungeons per so and that is what we're gonna do i don't remember how to Hold on, am I? Oh my gosh. I love that for the music to not play. That's hilarious. Okay. Um Okay. So they want to investigate the rising sea level and shattered glaciers. Talk to Pearl in Penguin Port to get to the Rihanna Strait. Okay, and then we have to talk to that one penguin. Heard. Is it all the way over here? I hope so. I mean, I could have just looked at the map. Yeah, hold on. That seems like a smarter thing to do. Where am I going? Ah, yes. Okay. So I was going the right way. Fantastic. Oh, they look like little yetis. It's cute. Oh, <gasps> they have little ones. Okay. I have to focus. Hello, Pearl. Heading out? Yes. Looking for a whitewater adventure, are ya? Lucky for you, the first trip to Rihanna Strait is free! Come on board. Oh, what a deal of a lifetime here. Okay. Oh, you're the penguin we have to talk to. Okay. I asked for help from Lilin and she sends me this tiny sardine with a giant head. A giant head? Excuse you, my head is perfectly normal. Oh, but I am. I am Putan, strongest penguin there is. You must be a brave warrior to come across Glacier in this weather. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. These furry people are the Malamutes. They are not much for the talking. The blue ones are seals. They have eyes like glass and I do not trust them. This is why we must solve glacier problem. We will let our peoples go to separate ways again. Uh, is there a reason why you're talking like that? No, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just curious. So, this is first time to Rihanna Strait, yes? Have you gone sailing before? Nope. You will need a ship to navigate the waters. Do you see Seal over there? He manages ma many ships. Ask him for one. You will talk to Seal with foolish face. Get Mighty Boat! Uh, I'll, okay. Okay. Daichi, or Dachi? I love voyages almost as much as I love a fatty tuna. Okay. Looking for me? Are you looking for a ship? Don't see why else you'd come to me. Yeah. I mean... You said you'd never gone out on the water, right? Do you even know the rudder from your bow? Let's find out. While you're out there banging my boat up, would you mind bringing in a bit of shipwreckage you find? I'm looking for a good lumber. There's not much more valuable than lumber here. Talk to Helsman Tanya and set sail. Okay. 
So we're getting a fetch quest. Nate, are you ready to depart? Yep. Yes, sir. This is your first voyage, right? Well, try to keep your lunch down and aim for the horizon. The strait's tough, but she's fair. You can go any place you like as long as it's connected to the sea. If you're on the hunt for lumber, I'd start with bits of shipwreckage right in front of you. Yeah, okay, yeah, that sounds fair. <gasps> oh my gosh. Someone play Always Smiling from Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Okay. I just really like that song. It's a good song. Ah, uh, this wreckage looks newer than the rest. Captain, these look usable. Cool. Oh. Okay. What about these? Yeah, that works. Alright. That was a simple enough task. Anchors ahoy to the Glacial Obser Observatory. No question about it. Now, can we just get the boat? Maybe I shouldn't have gotten a boat, okay. Uh, let me see the lumber. Not bad, shrimp. You're pretty good at sailing. Thank you. I am Hutan, mightiest of penguins. I see you've tried the sailings. You are ready for mission now, yes? Now that you are worth of sea, I will tell you of Frostwitch, troubler of my people. Once all was well, now sea floods towns, glaciers turn to water. This is doing a frost wish witch Barbara, there is no doubt. Oh. She's a horrendous witch. I am told she takes many children from penguin seals and malamutes, malamutes to take her stew. I have many eyes in waters. They have told me this frost witch Barbara. She appears at all sites of glacier problems. The evil witch will drown us all. She must be crushed like ice is crushed from f for frothy drinks. There are three of ice stations in Rihanna, Sh Rihanna Strait. You will visit ice station one and see if there's anything you can do of help. Yes, go to north. Do not give up until witch is gone. Okay. Are we sure she's a bad person? I'm just, just wonder. Ice station's right up north. Okay. Do we have like witnesses? Feels like they're just going off a rumor. Oh, Wishki, hello. Don't be the only sardine out of the school, that's what I say. Sure. Hey there, Putin. Wait. What? Wait a minute. I don't know you. You're not a penguin. I wonder what gave that away. Well, I'll be a monkey face prickleback. You must be the hero everybody's gushing about. These peepers couldn't pick you out until you got nice and close. I didn't. Okay. My name's Pushki. I'm out here observing things, looking for some way to catch that nasty witch hook, line, and stinker. It's too bad there's so many nasty monsters out here. Not much of a fighter, you see, but Zowie, you look like a tough guppy. You wanna help me out? Sure. Okay, well thanks, Big Tuna. I'll be treading water until you get back. So we have to kill 50 monsters. Fossil Foundry 1. I believe that is the next room. Should be. Oh, hold on. Actually, let me... Thank you. 
Bushki, I'm back. How are you doing? Oh, did you catch these those monsters? I wonder where all those rocks came from. They sure don't belong here. This must be the work of that prickly witch. I'll be in a whale of a pickle if I can't keep an eye on this area. Do you think you could be a pal and get rid of some more monsters? Sure thing. Uh, now we just have to go to the third area. Sounds good. I do like the music in here, though. It's really nice. Okay, I'm back. Hi there, I've been waiting for you. You won't believe what I found when you were out bonking beasties. It's a whomper. A whomper? <laughs> it's a whopper of a tail. Okay. Nerd rescue. I heard a lady screaming. It came from the west, where I don't have a barnacle breath. Could you go find out what happened? Please, take the ship and sail west. Okie dokie. I guess we're gonna go west. Sounds came out from west, didn't they? Well, shall we sail a bit more? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I had to do that never eat Santa's waffles. Wait, do we have to go here? Is this where we have to go? Ah! Oh, save me from these incredibly educational monsters! Madam, are you okay? Hey, you must stay calm, especially in times like this. That's what Handy Mike's survival encyclopedia said. Please save me, Handy Mike. Huh? The monsters are all gone? Where did they go? Oh, were you the upstanding citizen that saved me? I heard a big crash and was super scared. I'm Nora, the astro- astro- astronomical- <laughs> Let me try that again. <clears throat> I'm Nora, the ast astronomical, archaeological, anthropologist. I came up here to study the permafrost layer on these glaciers, but then I found a crazy looking fossil that sprang to life and tried to eat me. Just another day in the life of an explorer. What brought you all the way out here? 
I'm helping some people out. We're trying to investigate a witch. Zowie, you think a mean old witch made the sea level rise and filled the place up with monsters? Uh, not really, but maybe. I don't know. The permafrost shows definite signs of natural degradation. That means it has to be related to the temperature around here. I don't think anyone's summoning these monsters, but I think they're thawing out and waking up. Anyway, why would a witch want to raise the sea level around her own area? I don't think that's adding up. Hey, I've got an idea. How about I tag along with you while you explore? I'll make a great A sidekick. Yeah, sure. She's kind of annoying, but her scientific knowledge could be useful. I like her. She's cool. Jeepers. We'll have, we'll have the best old time. Yes, we will. Alright, I believe that. Good to see you. Who did you bring? Your adventure is still a wide open sea. You'll be a big fish in the pond in no time. Okay, is there anything else you want to tell me, sir? You're the big tuna of my heart. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> the big tuna of your heart? Maybe you ought to head over to Glacial Ob Observatory and give him a little help. Would you mind dropping this off with Putan? It'll help that witchy witch faster than a sailfish. Oh, it'll help find. Okay. Bon voyage! Sure, okay. Time to go... Jeepers, thanks for the assist. Are you on your way back to the Glacial Observatory? Uh, yeah. Why? Ugh. As you can see, my sailing skills are top-notch. I am the best at what I do. Alright, Putin. Oh, you're back. With this, I will find which. You are a good maker of friends, McGeggy. Like Narwhal, nicest guy in all of sea. Aw, oh, thank you. You are good friends to penguins, not like polar bear. Now you will be friend to Malamutes. Yes, they are strong in stem, but good. Stern. Why did I read that as stem? Hold on. They are not good talkers, though. We have tried many party times with them, but they are inept and weird. But what can I do? We already decided to help each other. Please, will you go talk to Malamut and na named Alveola over there? Sure. The one with the grumpy face and girly hat. Okay. Well, I'm also inept and weird, so I <laughs> don't have too much faith in me. In a world of madness, where do we begin? Oh, how you doing? The name's Alvo Alveola, and I'm a Malamute, don't you know? I gathered. Can't stand by here watching good folks run out of food, don't you know? I don't mean to talk bad about folks, because that's not how my mother raised me, you know? But holy moly, these penguins sure do make the nose twitch. But what are you gonna do, you know? Can't let these glaciers melt. Hey, why don't you go see my brother? He's a grumpy fella named Alvish. Hangs around down at the ice station too. Ice station two is just southeast, can't miss it. Okay, I mean, you seem pretty chill. All right, so we have to go to ice station two. Keep on going and we'll run into it. Okay. This at east, and then, yeah, this way. Now, do we have to go all the way east, or...? Wait, they said southeast. So, down here, perhaps? Is it this one? Okay. Did, <laughs> Did I go the wrong way? Yeah, I did. It's this area. I I went a little too east. That was my bad. 
Okay, here is Elvish. How are you? Throughout history, heroes have been born. Are you one of those heroes? I am Elvesh, a hero born of Malamut people with a destiny to run Ice Station 2. Okay. Anything else? Our kind is blessed with the power to smell more than any other. But in a world of powerful stinks, even the mightiest heroes might ask for help. And one hero will have to decide whether or not to, to save a people or let them suffer. And so one man stands and awaits the winds of the future. So, like, you want me to kill 50 corrupted barrels? Okay. You're an interesting lad. Alrighty, what's next? Your journeys were fraught with peril? Corrupter barrel? What madness? So... I don't even know how to explain. They're, they're alive barrels. In a world of wasted machines, one tribe will have to face the stink that may destroy them all. Unless a hero steps in. A hero like you must save the glaciers, or face destruction. Please get rid of 50 more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can do that. I didn't even check where I have to go, hold on. Okay, polluted glacier 3. might give us hopefully he'll give us some useful information on the witch because we really haven't gotten any concrete evidence that she is what they say she is one hero must save the entire tribe a stench is almost gone and destiny has been fulfilled the witch must be stopped but can our hero do it a whole tribe is waiting with a bated breath. Okay. Oh, also, I was supposed to send these reports back to Putin a long time ago, 
but I completely forgot and I don't want to get in trouble. Can you do it? May the winds of courage and victory and bravery blow at your back, mighty hero. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Very nice of you to say so. But yes, time to get back to the observatory. Environmental pollution is a serious problem. Do you really think the witch is behind all of this? Jilly Jiminy's, that's no good. We better get back to the glacial observatory. Alright, I mean, I'm glad we agree. It does feel a little weird to blame one person. Okay. Bhutan, hello. You are coming back to me, yes? This is good work for Malamut. You will tell him Bhutan will be buy him an extra bone next time you see him. Sure. Sounds like a fun time. Aha! I have found a witch that reports you bring to me. Wait, what? <laughs> let, me, let me try that again. <clears throat> Aha! I have found a witch that reports you bring... <laughs> Why do I... <laughs> it's that one word that I keep forgetting. Okay, okay. No, I got this. Third time's the try. Haha! -ha, I have found a witch with reports you bring to me. We will catch her like... Mushka with cheese. You will tell me when ready. Okay. Tanya already knows exact location. We will banish evil witch to land of sadness. Uh. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. Who am I supposed to talk to? You said Tanya. Who is Tanya? I probably should have... Take your boat east to Barbara's home. Okay. Just like, talk to Tanya. I don't know who that is. Ready to face off against that frost witch Barbara, are ya? Head east and look for her in the deep end. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Now we can go here. Yes, please. Meters ticking, bro. We're on a boat. Ah, uh, I was just Josh and little Tuna. The ship will come to anchor now. Okay. <laughs> just Josh and just yanking my chain. I see. These are babies. Look at them. <laughs> I don't know why I reacted like that. They're cute though. You haven't even got a sense to eat before you go out adventuring, do ya? Huh? Who are ya? What are you bringing your toad face around here for? Toad face? That's a new one? This lady doesn't even look like an evil witch. She's got cute little critters all over the place. You here for sm a smooching spell? Love potion? You can't be going on many dates with a face like that. Listen! Woman, I just got here. Do not. I'm here to fight an evil witch. Is that you? Are we going to fight? Is that how your mama taught you to talk to ladies? I would have glued your lips together if you were my kid. Kids these days with their PQs and their level 200s. I am not understanding a single thing. Lady? What? You got something else for me? Uh, I want to ask you something, actually. About what? You want to know what I'm planning on croaking dead? I'll slap your little mouth if you speak one more bit of nonsense. Cheapers, no. I just want to know if you have any idea why the sea level's rising. Everyone thought you cost us. You cost? Alright. <laughs> Let me try that again. Cheapers, no. I just want to know if you have any idea why the sea level's rising. Everyone thought you casted a spell to melt the glaciers. If you can use magic, you think I'd be an ugly old hag freezing her butt off on a black, black ice? 
Interesting choice of words there. Gonna try that again. Okay. If I could use magic, you think I'd be an ugly old hag freezing her butt off on a block of ice? Yeah, well, they also think you're experimenting on the kids, so... Honestly, sounds like a fun time to me. <laughs> well then, I'm just the mean old boogie lady, ain't I? Ain't I? Watch out for mean old Barbara. She'll eat your baby's toes off. Do you? I don't believe that, but I'm just asking. If it weren't for me, you and your little ones would be... Okay. <laughs> this is going great. <clears throat> if it weren't for me, you and your little ones would be dumped up in a big old block of ice down at the mouth of the river. Saved every one of them. This the thanks I get. You? Saved them? That's surprising. And I've been taking care of them. For, for a little while, of course. Not that I like them. I ain't right for kids to grow up without their own. I just feed them until they're strong and take them back to their mamas in the middle of the night. So, why do you keep helping if everybody hates you? If you got time to sit here and hang me over the coals, you can go run some errands for me. Sure. Okay, what do you need? Now listen up here. I need me some fat fishies to feed all my kitties here. And the ocean out there is still good and clean despite that fat penguin's best effort at messing it up. Get out there and get me five before I toss you out on your rear. Don't be coming back here with no small fries. I want those fishes big and fat. Uh... I don't understand you, but okay. Ugh. We have to go fishing. I think these fishes are ready to be caught. Let's go somewhere with a ton of fish and use Barbara's fishing kit. Sure. You know, despite her grumpiness, she's, she's cool. Appreciate her taking care of those kids. What do you mean? The the fishes are right here. Is, um, receiving some kind of signal. Rihanna, small fry. Oh, this little guy wouldn't even make a snake pack. Man. Is, okay. Rihanna Whopper. Hold on your tailbone, matey. We got us a big one. Let's go. Great. This should be plenty of food for us. Oh, Pog. Oh, oops. <laughs> Can we get another one? Yo! Three in a row! Cool. Oh, we just need two more. I can do basic math. Oh, sick. Can we get another one? Let's go! Let's go! Anyway. <laughs> Okay, Barbara, I am here with the fish. You're welcome. Let's see how big they are. Alright, you bring in a good catch. Look at the little ones all barking for a snack. Come on, my little darlings, it's feeding time. Oh, swag. You wanna know why I keep this racket up even though everybody hates me? Uh, yeah? Used to be. Those penguins, Malamutes, and seals couldn't stand one another. They were fighting all the time, making a mess of things. Then it just stopped. Can't say what sparked it, but suddenly all they think about was catching the witch. Turns out that was me. 
even though I've been feeding their youngins. First, I was mad at them. Thought about paddling every one of their bottoms raw. But then I realized it was for the best. As long as they're after me, they ain't after each other. It ain't the best kind of peace, but it's peace nonetheless. Oh, okay. So there's your story. And you best keep a lid on it. It's not me you're after. Why don't you do something useful and find the real culprit? Alright, fair enough. Thank you for your service, miss. Well, that witch isn't causing trouble. Guess we better tell old Putan then. He's gonna be one cross birdie. Yeah, you're telling me. What? What did I even get stuck on? My keyboard's just being whack. Alright. <clears throat> oh. I wasn't even paying attention to the time. Okay. Well, I am going to leave it here. And the next one, we'll talk to Putan and figure out what to do from here. Now that we know that Barbara is more than just those rumors. Did I even say that correctly? 